Hello and welcome to this week's episode and thank you very much for those that watched the previous videos and the comments that you put in. Thank you very much and I do want to apologize to everyone that you know saw me wearing a hoodie and a jacket in the office and thought I was freezing. Heat pumps are not that inefficient they are very very efficient i was in the outside office i'll show you the office where i was working and the heat pump itself you know the notion that they don't work they do work it's doing its job and i'm just comparing the bills showing you the bills so that those that are trying to, that are thinking of going into um, to getting one of these fitted do bear in mind that in winter the bills are going to be slightly higher so i want to i was talking about my bills i wasn't talking about the coldness or coolness of the house or anything or warmness of the house i wasn't talking about that all the video was was about the bill so now i know that uh you know everyone is watching and looking at what i'm wearing and all that these things work these things do warm up the house and do warm up the water as well and everything so everything is as it is so i just wanted to go through the first winter with the heat pump to see how everything is and i was I'm also researching um solar panels on there so i will go through that with you and i'll show you inside the house now it's about 21 degrees i've just looked everything is fine we are around what time is it now it's one o'clock on the 20th january so the bill i'm looking at is the bill from december the 10th of december until the 9th of january that's how my bills run with octopus so we'll go through that in the office and see as i mentioned earlier um i was researching having uh solar as well but i've got a dormer window there which makes it a bit difficult but otherwise you know all is well researched putting some solar there as well but i wanted to go through you know the first bill so this is the back of the house my office is actually part of the garage so you know as you can see there's a path when i did that recording i was out here in the migle around 10 pm when i uploaded that video so yes this is where my outside office i did a video on this building how we we did this office so here we are this is my outside office and just to show you i've got a thermometer there and it's showing 22.5 degrees i use a wi-fi oil filled heater and a smaller one for my feet if i'm cold and i've got i also have um energy monitors there now so that i can monitor what they do let's go through the bills and see you know how much december into january cost us and i'll just have a look as well at the bill from the year before when we had um the gas boiler and see how much the difference is 10th of december until the 31st of december then there was a, ch a price change as well from octopus from the 1st of january as, as you can see energy prices are going up and the prediction is they are also going to go up again by another percent and two percent in the coming quarters so is it worth having an energy battery this is another research that i'm doing at the minute to make sure that i utilize the energy there is the the bill this is what it was in the end it was 312 so if i show you the next page is this one here we used 654.8 kilowatt hours um on the cheap rate for charging the cars and you know hitting the water um the, the heat pump is set to hit the water during the the cheaper rate as well so it uses that at that time we also have another 30 minute window where we also hit the water again another another 30 minute there on the eco boost but we do that then the energy we used um 579.6 this is in 22 days so roughly if we look at that if we divide that 579.6 divided by 22 days we are using roughly about 26 average a day of 
are off peak. This is where now, you know, the research I'm doing for the battery, you look at that and you think, ah, if you're using 26, do you need two batteries? But the cost as well of the batteries. So it's something that you, when you are researching, you look at both ends. I know I'm, I digress. I'm talking about something else, but yeah, that's what we used during the peak. Then again, we used an additional 323. So 323 divided by nine days, that's 35. So roughly, so let me add both of them together. 579 plus 323, 902 kilowatt hours of peak divided by 30 days or 31 days. That's 31 days. We're using about 30, 29 uh, kilowatt hours a day. So this is where, again, you know, when you look at it, you think mm, 30 kilowatt hours um, a day. If I've got a, a battery, which about 13.5, which is a Tesla one, which is good value at the minute when I'm looking at them, um, it does make, I'll be using half of that at um, at the peak price. So it's something to, to research more and, and see. The, the total of my bill, as you can see here, is 319, 320 pounds. So from December into January in the winter, we used 320 pounds. I've got no gas, I've got no standing charge for gas. So that is out of the window. The price just moved a tiny bit from 25.44p to 25.81. The off peak remained the same. So off peak wise, we used 200, 236.6 plus the 654, 890. So we used less and our average is 17.72 there and 15.48 at the top there. So this is what our winter month bill is. So do be, bear in mind, if you've got a heat pump, it uses more in winter. The off-peak one, we warm up the water for an hour. It takes about 30 minutes to come up to temperature anyway. And also the Legionella cycle that it does, um, which runs every Monday. So again, that is also off-peak on the cheaper rate. If I then, I, I wasn't comparing the two, but I want to see what the gas one was from the previous year. And you will know and you will see that, you know, again, there was a price change in the gas. That was the previous year. The gas changed, not the electricity like it did this year. And it split like that, 10th of December, 23 until 9th of January. Electricity was 311. This is without the gas. If we put the gas on, which was 95 pounds, right? My bill previous year was 407, 407 pounds. That's what my winter bill was the previous year when I had gas. You know, in terms of usage, really, um, I did 890, uh, 890 plus 900, I think 902. 1,792 kilowatt hours used in that month. I used less. I used less. Yes, the prices were higher. I have to be fair on that. The prices last time, as you can see there, it was 29.55 and I think now it's 25 pence. So there's a 4p difference on there. So if I say, if I I'm, I'm trying to be a bit fairer in my calculation there. So if I say 752, it's 25 point, we'll do the higher, higher amount, 25.81, uh, 752, 25.81. It's 194 pounds. It's 194 pounds and here is 222. So if I say, 222 take away 194 28 pounds more 
the price difference in the tariffs is uh, 28 pounds so even if you know this bill you take away the 28 pounds there you are nowhere near 320 pounds so I think with the heat pump it's much better but this you know this video is to, to show you that winter bills are higher I wanted to experience experience them with the heat pump so that I know you know what I'm doing and what I'm using so as you can see I am much better with the heat pump never mind you know the trolls that start attacking Ed Miliband you know I had my heat pump way before Labour were in power I had it in March Labour came into power in July so please no political scoring here I'm just giving you how things are right a heat pump currently even in the winter it's showing to be much cheaper to run than having a gas boiler but I've done that you know this is where I'm trying to help those that are trying to move forward and you know have a heat pump that to be mindful that winter bills will be slightly higher but when the weather warms up a bit more your bills will be less in my office here i use a, a, a oil oil heater in here so let's just see what the oil heater is using i've got a meter there so right today so far it's used six kilowatt hours 6.33 kilowatt hours and we are now at it's one o'clock but some of that will be on the off peak some of that is on the off peak so roughly let's look at a day it's using about eight 8.32 yesterday 8.52 the day before 6.95 i did turn it off there 6.95 7.59 seven seven point six eight so it uses roughly we can say around eight kilowatt hours a day so eight times um 31 days i'm using about 250 kilowatt hours with this heat heater in the on in the office so some of that is off peak yes but some of it is during peak hours so taking that into consideration my total which is 1.7 1.8 a month some of that if i take away 250 is the heater and you know some of things but these are things that i i use currently as you can see you know having a, a heat pump it is marginally cheaper i say marginally because i'm a high usage person and we've got two electric cars so really if you are thinking of having a heat pump do bear in mind that the winter you know the winter um, bills are going to be slightly higher they are going to be in the near 300s definitely but if you don't have a, um, an EV then you're looking at 280 at least if you haven't watched there's another video for November into December bill that's and I'm expecting similar if not less money last month was 349 this one is 320 then i'm expecting it to be around 300 again you know then we come down from then on so the three months will be slightly higher the rest should be lower thank you very much and see you on the next video bye